Hi, I'm Michael Piazza from Weizang. You want to evaluate your measurements quickly, easily and professional? Then stay tuned. Today I will show you how you can evaluate your data in a very short time, create a template and bring it into a printable form. And if you want so not only for one measurement, but for a complete measurement series. I will realize this with FlexPro, the data analysis software from Vizon. If you want to see more, you can find us under www.vizon.com. Let's get started. The first step in data evaluation is loading the measurement data. FlexPro offers a large number of supported formats. Simply select and import. A separate folder is created for each measurement file and the channels are stored there. In this example, an acceleration signal. We want to take a look at it, analyze it visually, assign an envelope curve to it and calculate a small statistic. To do this, we select the acceleration signal and simply create a diagram in office style. By switching on the cursors, Various possibilities of visual analysis are then available. There are the cursors with a coordinates window, you can automatically jump to events such as Extrema, zooming in any depth, Various marks can be set, for example, the point mark. Or also a tangent line. Of course, adaptable at any time and also erasable. We start by creating the envelope for the acceleration signal. We select the acceleration signal again and now choose the envelope wizard from the numerous mathematical options instead of the diagram wizard. After we have made our settings, a new channel is created. Or, as it is called in FlexPro, a new dataset with the envelope values of the acceleration signal. To display them in the previously created diagram, we simply drag and drop the envelope curve into the diagram. That's it. In the same way, we make another small statistic. We select the acceleration signal Choose the maximum from the statistics and get the calculated values as a new dataset in the object list. Now we repeat this process for the minimum. You notice it is always the same procedure. The statistical values are presented in a table. For this purpose, we create a cell table with an appealing design and color and the statistical values are already presented in tabular form. We want to print the results at the end. Therefore, we create another document to present the results. Then, we simply drag and drop the previous created diagram and table to the desired position in the document. For later use, we also give the document a title. That's it. Before we continue, we would like to take a look at the evaluation for further measurements. To do this, we simply import the desired ones Now we can switch back and forth between the different measurements and the evaluation adapts to the respective measurement. Quite practical! Let's get back to our real goal. We want an evaluation for all our measurements. To do this, we simply save this evaluation as a template. Now we delete our previous work and can apply the Just Save template directly to many other measurements when importing. As you can see, there is a complete evaluation in each subfolder. Now we have several individual evaluations, but we also want a series evaluation across all measurements.
The data query tool is very useful for this. FlexPro already determines a large number of characteristic values from the individual channels during import. The data query can search for these characteristic values. A simple case is the channel name. We now search for it and get an element that represents the acceleration channels for all measurements. If we want to display them in a diagram, we simply select the desired diagram type and get a diagram that displays all acceleration signals. Simple, isn't it? Mathematics can also be applied in the usual way, for example the envelope curve. Create it and drag it onto the diagram. Done. In the series evaluation, the hard disk paths of the measurement data are also to be output. To do this, we open the data query again, search for the acceleration signals, and instead of the measured values, we have the so-called origin values returned. Pack it nicely into a table, and that's it. To summarize all evaluations, we now create an overall document. To do this, we first create an empty document at the folder level and place the diagram and the table of the series evaluation there using drag and drop. Create a heading here as well. In order to add the finished partial evaluations as well, we create a new page behind it and use the so-called document collection. Like the data query, this now collects the evaluation documents of the individual measurements from the subfolders and adds them to the current document. Now we already have four pages of documentation. We jump to page one, insert another page before it and create an automatic table of contents. Add another page in front of it as a title page. The evaluation document for all measurements is finished. The pleasant thing about using the data query is the generic approach. This means that the evaluation as created here can be extended with measurements at a later time without any effort. Let's look at it by adding more measurements. Whether 7 or 200 measurements, the amount of work remains the same. Let's summarize what has been done. In less than 10 minutes, an evaluation was created for 7 measurements. In principle, the number of measurements does not matter. And if you subtract the time for creating the template, you really can create an overall evaluation for many measurements in a very short time. By the way, the used data query can be optionally expanded to the Data Explorer. That converts your FlexPro search in a complete data management tool that allows you to manage your measurement data without any administrative effort. For more information and possibilities, I am standing at your disposal for a personal conversation. So, see you again.